Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is leaf transpiration. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is some leaves, a Ziploc bag, bread ties, or a string. So to set up this uh, experiment, you need a Ziploc bag. I'm using some bread ties. You could also use some string. And then you're just going to find a plant with some leaves that are going to be in directly in sunlight for two to three hours. And so grab a whole bunch of those that fit in the bag and put them in and then wrap your bag around it so there's no air coming in and then seal it off uh, with the bread tie or the string. Did you know plants transpire? It's kind of like people perspiring, but not quite. A simple analogy to help explain the act of transpiration is that plant transpiring is like a human sweating. Humans sweat by exerting water through pores to cool down. Similarity, a plant that goes through the transpiration to help carry the nutrients through the plant and maintain its structure. So what really is transpiration? Well, transpiration is the process by which the moisture is carried through the plant's roots, then the caterpillary action goes through the stem and to the small pores to the underside of the leaves where it changes the vapor and is released to the atmosphere, which we can't see. So we can see that uh, the experiment's set up and ready to go. Um, the bag is on, it's facing down, so the water will drip down to the corner down here. And it's securely tied off with the bread, bread ties. And so we're all ready to go, and it's in a nice sunny area. So we'll let it sit, and we'll check back on it shortly. So here it is, about 15 minutes in, maybe about 20, and a little bit of water is already starting to evaporate. Um, it's really amazing because you wouldn't have saw any of this in your backyard of any of the vapors going up as it evaporates, but uh, by trapping it, we're able to really see this, so it's really cool. Transpiration is essentially evaporation of water from plant leaves. This happens faster and humidity is low, such as on a hot day, a windy day, or like today when it's about 100 degrees, so we're in perfect condition. This causes the water to evaporate quickly, and the plant needs to suck up more water from the ground all the way up to the bag. Studies have revealed about 10% of the moisture found in the atmosphere is released from plants through transpiration. The remaining 90% is supplied by ev evaporation from oceans, seas, and other bodies of waters like lakes and rivers and streams. What I find amazing about this experiment is how much water is on the leaves and in the bag. Uh, plant tr transpiration is a pretty much an invisible process, and that's what makes it so cool. Since, since the water is evaporating from the leaf surfaces, you just don't go out and see these leaves sweating. Just because you can't see the water doesn't mean that it's not being put into the air, though. During this growing, uh, growing season, a leaf can transpire at many times more water than its own weight. An acre of corn can give off about three to 4,000 gallons or equivalent to 11 to 15,000 liters of water each day. And a large oak tree can transpire 40,000 gallons or 151,000 liters per year, which is just truly amazing. So uh, there's our water, we're gonna go inside and measure it. This can be used um, to be drank uh, as a clean water source. So as long as it's not a toxic plant, um, you're able to drink this and, and is a way to survive out in the wilderness when you have no other water, as long as you have a bag or a tent that you could collect it in. So here we are, we have just under a fourth of a cup, which is pretty amazing. Look in the description for a little bit more information. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe and let me know if you try this experiment and how much water you're able to uh, transpire. All right. Thanks for watching.